Hey folks, Dr. Mike Isertel here for Renaissance Periodization, video number one today in fat loss dieting made simple, super simple, and we're starting out with the most basic step. Step one, standardizing your intake. So here's the deal. You want a diet to lose fat, which of course makes sense. Welcome to a club. It's a huge club. Tons and tons of people want a diet to lose fat. And unfortunately, the vast majority of them will do a bunch of stuff wrong. And some will still succeed. Some do more right than wrong. Some do more right than others. But we want you guys watching these videos to have the best chance of success. So maybe if we catch you early enough, or you know, early enough before your next fat loss phase, we want you to get things right from the get-go for a change, okay? And in order to get things right, in order to build a diet plan for yourself, which you'll be able to do watching this video, we have to know where you're starting from. Yes, we could just give you a cookie cutter plan and say, hey, use this and you'll probably have great results. And that might even be true, but to get the best results and to have the process be the most smooth and most likely to be successful, a lot of times what's good is starting from a place where you know where you're at. Plans can be very different based on initial conditions, so figuring out where you're at is a real good thing at right up front. How do we know where you're at? Well, you have to track your daily intake for probably a few days, even maybe a week or two. How do you do this? You can do it manually. I track all my proteins, carbs, and fats just on my phone on the iPhone Notes app. I'm told that I'm 20 years behind the times. That's probably true. Tons of apps out there that do this. My Fitness Pal, great app to track your intake because it's got a huge list of foods. You can pretty much find anything you need in there. Some of the food labels are not so accurate. Most are very accurate, but you can get on there. It's easy to use, track your intake. Now, mind you, you're not making any changes. You're still eating the same stuff you always did. You, all you're doing is tracking your food, and the numbers we're really interested in is the amount of protein, carbs, and fats that you eat every day on average, okay? So if you know how to count macros and you're comfortable, MyFitnessPal is a great tool. If you're new to counting macros or you don't even know what the heck macros are, no big deal, then you can try our Healthy Eating Made Simple series that we already have posted to YouTube. You just search that or we'll post a link for you and it'll teach you all about how to count macros. So once you look through that and you're okay, healthy eating is great, but I wanna lose fat, you can come back here. Now, after a week or two of doing this, remember we are not making any willful changes at all, no changes, just tracking, you will know how much protein, how many carbs, and how much fat you're taking in daily, and you'll have like a weekly or two week average, okay? That's really good because that amount of food will serve as the foundation for turning your current diet into a very effective fat loss diet. Specifically, we'll know how much food you're eating, we can wiggle the amounts a little bit, reduce it in an intelligent way, so that the macros at the end for your fat loss diet are real good for losing fat, for continuing to provide you with as much energy and recovery as possible, not disrupting your sleep, and making sure you still have all the muscle that you built underneath. Fat loss diet, not necessarily just a weight loss diet. So this process takes usually one or two weeks, and big, idea here is to just figure out how much you're eating on average, right? However, another part of the process that's really good is it sort of gets you in tune with the idea of tracking. Tracking is going to be something we're going to use through the entire fat loss process because it's just, you know, we, when we have a plan, tracking tells us how close we are to the plan and allows us to really hit our goals. Tracking is uh, a little stressful at times and it can be, especially if it's new to you, it can be like this new thing that you have to do you're like, oh, damn it, I forgot to log my meals for today. Uh, what did I eat? If you're not in the habit of tracking and you have to do two things, start tracking and change your intake to start a fat loss diet at the beginning, uh, that kind of stinks, man. That's that's two things. That's a lot of cognitive bandwidth. But if you just start tracking and you still eat whatever the hell you want, whatever normal stuff you eat, that's great because by the time several weeks later when we actually start changing your intake to make it a fat loss diet, you're already super used to tracking and it's no big deal. It's just one change at a time then, right? So that's it. Step one is to track for a few weeks and get a real good understanding of how much food you eat. Next time in the next video, we'll talk about choosing better foods versus or foods that are more conducive to fat loss rather than the foods that are less conducive. And then we'll start taking that serious dive into or the deep dive into very serious fat loss mode. See you in the next video.